Hello Taurus, welcome to your guidance video. So I've done some guidance cards for yourselves. Um, we've also got some room cards here as well, this is going to depth for things you need to know as well. So the first card we have from the daily guidance card then is for you to let your past go. Um, because you have a lot of burdens, you are going to be um, carrying around so much, you know, baggage from that type of energy from the past you want you know you need to get rid of it um what you need to do is you need to keep the lessons of it you know the love side of it the good memories and just leave it all behind you you know you don't need it you don't want it you know just just leave it stay in the past and try and let your past go so that's why they tell you you need to leave your past stay in the past and don't bring it up you then have king of the unicorns cards with you are blessed with majesty vision and power so you will have a lot of power you will have a lot of good strong energy about you the powerful strength courage um like that leadership type of role about you um that's coming in for you you then have the card of intuition, which is to listen to your inner wisdom. So you need to start listening to your intuition more because there is answers from the divine and your guides that they're trying to tell you something. So you need to start focusing on listening to your intuition. You then have the card of Mother Mary with Mother Mary and the unicorns are blessing you. So you are going to be very, very blessed. There is a lot of blessings there's a lot of um, healing and a lot of contentment and, um, you know, the get-go, so to speak, that's going to be coming in for you. You have the card then of your being helped. So heaven is working behind the scenes to help you, even if you don't see the results yet. So there is something that's coming in for you, um, as in whatever you've been putting out into the universe, whatever you've been open and praying with, it is actually going to come out eventually for you even if you don't see it they are working on it it is coming into manifestation you have the tranquility card with make time to relax be still and enjoy solitude and indulge in much needed self-care so you need to start looking after yourself and try and have some time for yourself okay there is some attraction coming in for you. Um, you are going to be attracted to a romantic lover by enjoying the moment fully. So there is a lot of attraction that's coming in for you. Someone's going to be feeling attracted to you. So try and embrace that and more. You will be. Um, love yourself first. So self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So try and love yourself more. Try and caress yourself more. Try and make yourself feel more loved, um, even if you're in the relationship or not in a relationship. Try and put yourself first. It says make the effort. So great love is worth taking the steps that you're guided to take. So there is some effort that you are going to be putting into, even if this is loving yourself first, or if you are going to put effort into loving and coming close to someone. Someone is wearing a false mask in the relationship. So this is like a red flag warning that someone's not being um, true. They're not being who they meant and who they seem to be. You have the wedding card. So either you're going to get married or there is marriage coming in or some type of commitment, a strong commitment that's coming in. Some questions that you've been asking, here is the answer to them. So you have in the near future, whatever you've been questioning a long time for or just recently um, or before we put this video on, the answer to that is in the near future and it's up to you. You then have don't let your past hold you back. So like in the first card here, it says let your past go. So what you need to do is leave the past in the past, move forward and try and restart a new life. Don't let the past hold you back. Don't let it cut a, a lot of bad vibes around you. Be bold and make the first move. So whatever you want to do in life, you know, now is a good time for you to make that first move. Go ahead. Do what you dreamed of. Do what you feel is good. 
um, even if you to make a first move on a new project or into a relationship or something you know try and be the first one to make that move there is um, a hot steamy climax that's coming into you something maybe a bit heated at this moment so this is like another warning for you so there is um a lot of hot-headedness that may be coming in for you at this time communication is key there is a lot of communication that's coming in um from some of you i'm getting there is a couple of people that is going to come in to you and try and talk to you there is a lot of communication and connected energy that's coming in surrender to the divine so whatever you feel like you're worrying about any fears just you know take it up and leave it up to the gods and the goddesses and to the divine just don't go struggling just take it out you know and put it into the universe and just let it you know god and the angels take care of it personal issue reses usually res reaches resolution so whatever problems that you have it is going to come to an end even if this is an end to a job it is like some type of completion that's coming in. There is um, a resolution to it. Work through your fears. So whatever fears you have, you are going to be working through it. You know, you, you're going to face it head on, so to speak. The energy is gaining momentum. So there is a new energy that's coming in. Everything is actually going to come full circle. Things are going to be well. And there is a sense that things are going to go the right way, the way it should be. Okay, let's see what the runes has for you then. So you have Euras with physical strength, speed and potential that's coming in for you. Inguas with virtues. This is dealing with the masculine energy. This is to do with family love and some internal growth that's coming in. You have Itagas. This is about you maybe have some water signs involved in your chart. There is a power of renewal and there may be some fantasies that is coming in for you. So Velo, this is sun, success, goals, achievements and honour that is coming in. Fehu with wealth, abundance, good luck, energy and creation that's coming in for you. Bukana, there is a birth, fertility, a growth or a new beginning that's coming in for you. Rado, this is a travel, a journey, some type of evolution that's coming in for you. With Kinas, there's visions, revelations, creativity, and some type of ability that's coming out. Ruathis, this is about need, this is about self-reliance, embracing things, and the sense of survival. Perth. There is mysteries, secrets, magic, and some type of occult abilities that's involved or that's coming through for you. Tiwas, there's great honour, there's justice, there is being a leader and some type of authority that's coming in. And then you have Jira with peace, prosperity, and a fruitful harvest that's coming in. Okay. Next card you have is a snake. So there's healing, there's a transformation and a life change that's coming in. You then have the sun card, which is about life. There's good energy, good clarity, positivity and joy that's coming in. The heart of flowers then, there is love, compassion and life giving that's coming in. You have the fish with a deeper awareness. There is feelings and there is luck that's coming in. With the whale, there may be a death, a rebirth, and it could be the symbol of um, the feminine energies coming out. There is the masculine energies that's coming out very strong and powerful for you. There is the card of regrets. There is emotions, repressions, and actions that's going to be made. You then have the card of trust with faith, risk and divine time and patience. With self-care there is energy work, meditation and grounding coming in. With freedom there is leap of faith and opportunities coming in. You have karma which is balance and justice that's coming in. 
And then you also have the feminine energy that's coming in very strong again, the female energies of booty and power. And you have the spirit guides, angels, gods and ancestors and the divine coming in with assistance. 